Assalamu alaikum and hello to my non-Muslim viewers. Today I'm going to be talking about, uh, you know, the Prophet Muhammad's, uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him's marriage to Aisha. So here we go. Uh, as for the issue of Aisha, um, well, the criticism or the argument or the criticism against the Prophet Muhammad's a marriage to Aisha is that um, the critics, whether they're atheists or Christian critics of Islam, say that the Prophet Muhammad married Aisha when she was six years old, and she and he consummated the marriage with her when she was nine years old. So uh, the critics of Islam, um, you know, say that the Prophet Muhammad married a six-year-old and then had, uh, you know, uh, consummated or had sexual intercourse with her when she was nine years old. So the argument is that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had uh, relations with a six-year-old girl and then had sexual relations when she was nine and stuff like that. And they say, well, that's immoral and stuff like that. So I'm going to be refuting that argument. Um, or they'll say, you know, this is uh, this is a, this is a traits of a pedophile or a child molester and, and stuff like that. Um, I mean, this is false. Now, as for the issue of Aisha, it's a very simple issue to answer. First of all, I would like to ask, uh, what is the age of marriage in the Bible? Because um, uh, because uh, there is none. Nowhere in the Bible does it say you have to be 12, 16, or 18. So what is the standard? According to the standard of both faith, of all three faiths, Abrahamic faiths, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, the way you, the right way, the right age for marriage is when she is fit, both mentally and physically. That's the criteria of a marriage. And back in the day, young girls, we view them as young girls now, but back in the day, marriage to young girls was very normal. Uh, we might view it differently because society has changed, but back then, uh, not just in the Middle East, but virtually in any places in the world, according to the United Kingdom, according, uh, including Europe, marriage to young girls, they wouldn't even be called girls, was very uh, normal. Secondly, even if you read, um, even if you read the Hadith, the Hadith only says the Aisha moved in with him. There's nothing about sexual intercourse or what have you. But nonetheless, even if you have those issues back in Back then, that's the way society was. We might view, we might view it differently, but back then, a 15-year-old boy would be viewed as a man ready to go into war. These days, 15-year-olds are not viewed that way. They are too busy playing PS3 or what have you. Society has changed, and anybody who does a simple academic study will see that for themselves. Now, obviously, in today's age, it would be wrong to marry a nine-year-old. Why? Because in today's society, we know uh, nine-year-olds are not fit for marriage, especially mentally. They are not ready for marriage. So any Muslim who is indulging in child marriages are wrong. That's that's not they're not that's not following the prophet's example because the prophet's example was marrying a girl or a young woman or a young lady when she was both physically and mentally fit. If you don't do that, you're not following the prophet's example. So Islam does not allow uh, child brides or child marriages and uh, stuff like that. So this claim, uh, and you know, even if you read the Bible, um, you know, there's. Uh, there's a uh, you know there's all kinds of um, verses that you know allow you know older men to sleep with younger younger girls and uh, stuff like that uh, uh, you know so there's nothing in the old or the New Testament saying that you you have to be um, you know you have to be 18 years old to um, to marry a girl and, and uh, stuff like that nor in the Bible does it say that you have to be, uh, you know, you have to be 18 to marry a girl or, or whatever. So, uh, you know, the Prophet Muhammad didn't uh, violate any any kind of, um, you know, any kind of biblical law. Because if you read the Bible, nowhere does it say you have to be 18 or 21 or 20 or something like that to to uh to marry a girl and it doesn't it doesn't say that anywhere just not there and um even that uh you know uh, according to 
According to um, Numbers chapter 31, verse 7, in Numbers uh, chapter 31, verse uh, 7 through 13, um, you know, it, it says... Uh, it says you can say for yourselves every girl who's never slept with a man. So this implies child raping, child marriages. So the Bible allows those. And Christians who use this argument are also inconsistent because if you read the history of the Virgin Mary, according to you know Christian sources, uh, the Virgin Mary was 12 years old when she married Joseph, who was much older. And, and um, you know in the uh, Catholic tradition, Joseph was like 90 years old when he married Mary, who was the Virgin Mary, who was 12 years old. So Christians are inconsistent when they point fingers at the Prophet Muhammad's marriage to Aisha, because Muslims can, you know, point the fingers at, at the Virgin Mary's birth and, and stuff like that. And the Virgin Mary also gave birth to Jesus when Jesus, when she was like around 12. Uh, so you know, Christians aren't going to say, yeah, God's a pedophile or God's a child rapist for impregnating a 12 year old and, and stuff like that. They're not, they're not going to say that. Uh, so you know. I think that's just inconsistent. So anybody who does any kind of simple research on the Virgin Mary and stuff like that can see that she was only 12 years old when she was uh, engaged to Joseph or married to Joseph, and she was 12 years old when she gave birth to Jesus. So Christians are inconsistent.